Hello students how are you i hope that you all are well our school is providing you this digital content so that you all can continue your learning from your home this video is sponsored by kps convent and its aim is to educate a child for meaningful life here is the second chapter of class 8 that is synthetic fibers and plastics so students in this module you are going to learn about what is fiber types of fiber the different structure and characteristic of polymer and the features of plastics what are fibers fibers a very thin thread like strand from which cloth is made is called fiber we have two type of fiber natural fibers the fibers which are obtained from plant and are made up of natural polymer and cellulose they are called natural fibers example cotton flax jute there are another type of natural fiber that is animal fiber which are obtained from animal like silk and wool synthetic fibers the fibers which are made by man from synthetic polymer like nylon rayon polyester ma'am what are polymers a polymer is a big molecule formed by the combination of large number of small molecules let us learn more about synthetic fiber type of synthetic fiber rayon it is regarded as artificial silk process of making rayon it is a man made fiber obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp wood pulp is dissolved in sodium hydroxide solution to form viscous now viscous is forced to pass through the tiny holes of metallic cylinder into a solution of sulfuric acid then self like film of rayon is formed use of rayon it is used in textile industry for making saree dresses socks etc rayon is mixed with cotton and used to make bed sheets curtains blankets rayon is mixed with wool and used to make carpets rayon is used to make bandage and surgical dressings rayon is used in tie industry for manufacturing of tie cords nylon it is the first fully synthetic fiber developed in new york and london in the year 1931 from a chemical polymide properties of nylon nylon fiber are very strong elastic and lightweight nylon fibers absorb less water so nylon grows dry quickly nylon is wrinkle resistant nylon is very durable and not attached by moth and ordinary chemicals use of nylon nylon is used for making textile fabrics like sarees shirts neckties socks etc nylon is used for making ropes car seat belts fishing nets tire cord strings of racket and musical instrument nylon is used in making curtain sleeping bags and tents Nylon is used for making food press bristles, parachute, etc. Polyester. It is a synthetic fiber in which the polymer unit are linked by easter. It is a thermoplastic polymer. Terrylene is a very popular polyester fiber. Properties of polyester. These fibers are strong but soft fibers. These fiber are wrinkle resistant, easy to wash and dry. Polyester is very durable and not attached by moth and ordinary chemicals. Use of polyester fibers. Polyester is used for making textile fabric like sarees and curtains. It is blend with cotton and called terrycloth which is used for making shirt, trousers and other dresses. It is blend with wool and called terry wool and used for making suits. Polyester are used for making sailboats. Polyester is used for making water hoses for fire fighting operations. Polyester is used for making conveyor belts. Now comes PET. PET stands for polyethylene terephthalate. 
it is a plastic form of polyester. Properties of PET like weight, colorless, with high transparency. It is strong and impact resistant. Use of PET It is used for making water bottle, jar and utensils for storing sugar, soy, rice and spices. PET is used for making films. Acrylic It is a synthetic fiber made from acrylonitrile by the process of polymerization. The properties of acrylic are It is lightweight, soft and warm like wool. It can be also dyed in various color. It is cheaper than natural wool. It requires less maintenance. Use of acrylic It is used to make sweater, shawl and blankets, jackets, sportswear and socks also. General characteristics of synthetic fibers They are very strong. They are more durable. They absorb very water. They are wrinkle resistant. They are lightweight. They are not attacked by moth. They do not shrink. They are cheaper and readily available. They are easy to maintain. They help in conservation of forests as they are prepared from petrochemical. Besides all these qualities have some disadvantage too. Disadvantages of synthetic fibers. They melt on heating. If the person is wearing clothes made up of synthetic fiber and if clothes catch the fire accidentally, they melt and stick to the body and causing severe burn. The clothes made of synthetic fiber are not comfortable during summer as they do not absorb sweat. Plastics We use number of articles made up of plastics in our daily life like the water bottle, pencil box, tiffin box, even at your home. You must see most of the articles are made up of plastics like buckets, mug, water tank, chair, table, pump switches, even utensils and endless products we use in our daily life. Plastics are made in all possible sizes, shape and color. Plastic is a synthetic material which can be moved into desirable shape when soft and then harder to produce a durable article example polythene, polyvinyl chloride, bakelite, melamine and teflon. Let us study one by one. Type of plastics. There are two types of plastics. Thermoplastics and thermosetting plastic. Thermoplastic. Plastic in which the long polymer chain are not cross-linked. The plastics which can be softened repeatedly by heating and can be molded into different shapes again and again is called thermoplastics like polythene and polyvinyl chloride. Polythene, it is a plastic made up by polymerization of ethene. It is tough and durable. It is used in making polythene bags, waterproof sheets, water bottles, buckets and even dustbins. Polyvinyl chloride. It is a strong and hard plastic. It is not flexible. It is used for making insulation for electric wire, pipe, garden hoses, raincoat and seat covers. Thermosetting plastics. A plastic which once set does not become soft on heating and cannot be molded second time. It is called thermosetting plastic like bakelite, melamine, teflon. Bakelite. It is very hard and tough plastic. It is poor conductor of heat. So it is used for making handles of cooking utensils. It is a poor conductor of electricity. So it is used for making electric switches and clocks. Melamine. It is a fire resistant plastic. It is used for making floor tiles. It is used for coating the uniform of firemen. Teflon. It is a special plastic on which oil and water do not stick. It can be withstand high temperature. It is used for giving non-stick coating on cookware and bottom of electric iron. Useful properties of plastics. Plastics are resistant to corrosion. They are poor conductor of heat, so it can be used for making handles of utensils. Plastics are poor conductor of electricity. 
so they can be used for making electric switches and clocks. They can be molded in various shapes. Plastics are quite cheap. Plastics are light and durable. Besides all these qualities, plastic have this quality like plastic are non-biodegradable substance. Ma'am, what are non-biodegradable material? Biodegradable and non-biodegradable material. Biodegradable material. A material which gets decomposed through the natural process such as action of bacteria is called biodegradable. Example, cloth, tube, paper, wood. Non-biodegradable material. A material which is not easily decomposed by the natural process such as action of bacteria. It is called non-biodegradable material and hence cause pollution. Now you can understand the effect of plastic in environment. Plastics on environment. They are not eco-friendly as they pollute the environment as they are non-biodegradable. They block the drains and cause unhygienic condition. Plastic waste can choke the respiratory system of animals like cow and this can cause the death of these animals. They produce poisonous gases if burned and cause air pollution. Ma'am, how can we save our environment? We can take steps only to reduce the use of plastics wherever possible by following our rules. Try to reduce the use of plastics. Use paper bag or cloth bag instead of polythene bags. Try to reuse the plastic that is by using the plastic containers which comes with jam and pickle. Recycle the old plastic by sending them to the plastic industry for melting. So students, thank you. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. Stay connected.